So, I hear you're into commercials. Hello and welcome to this special of PPR where you'll be hearing a mass amount of commercials. Here we have two special guests. We have Bad Andy. Also known as Andy the Awesome. And we also have... I am here to help talk about the commercials. Oh dear God. Yes, he is back. <laughs> Again. I will be here all day. This is all about me. Yes, this is all about you. And it will be awesome, of course. Yes. So what are we going to do? Well, on this one, we're going to be doing a lot of commercials. Ones that you've heard before and some new ones. It'll be good. I want to get into it right now. All right, then let's get right into it. I love Netflix. I love Netflix. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love Netflix. Movies. Nine, nine. Easy there, Franco the dog. Oh boy, you, you, we're gonna go on vacation pretty soon. Uh, oh boy, we forgot about you. No, don't cry. Franco, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Franco. Wait, we could take him to the kennel. No, he doesn't want to go to the kennel. What? Wait a minute. Did, didn't we hear that ad? On podcast, podcast revolution. Oh yeah! For, for uh, paw to paw promise. We did hear paw to paw promise. Now our little uh, furry friend here, Franco the dog, you can stay home. Yeah, you don't, <laughs> you don't have to go to a kennel. You don't have to you get can, kennel cough. You can have a great pet sitter come and watch you. <laughs> well, uh, what's that website again? It is paw p a w two t o promise. P-R-O-M-I-S-E dot com. Oh yeah! Pod, pod, promise. Dot com. Oh. How are you? Can I help you? Of course I can help you. What kind of car are you looking for? I have used cars. Okay, I got red ones, blue ones, green ones. What do you want? You want the green one? Okay, yeah. Um, I need a car to replace mine. Oh, your car? Yeah, that one sucks. You don't need that. You should get this car. It's 15000 Oh no, you don't need that one. You need this car. It's 45000 um, All right, silent online. Great, thanks. Wow, you're a really good salesman. Thank you. Here you go. Here's forty-five thousand dollar car right there. You're done. Who do you work for again? Autotrader.com. And so there were three that we've had on previous episodes. We first had the Netflix, followed by the Paw to Paw Promise, and then the Auto Trader. They were very good commercials, but they were crap. Why is that? I wasn't in any of them. I knew you were gonna say that. But what does fancy marketing expert have to say about the subject? Well, I feel like the Auto Trader one has a bit of a spastic tone to it where I might not want to shop there because I feel like they need some Ritalin or something. <laughs> I never want to shop there because they won't hire me. Why won't they hire you? Because I am the coolest! And I'm way better than Bacteria Mike, or Cages, or any of those losers. <laughs> oh, New Jersey guy, you're way too much. I think the New Jersey guy needs a bit of riddle in himself. And back to the commercials. Greetings! Sir, you look like a man who likes dogs! I do love my dogs. How many dogs do you have? Twelve. Twelve dogs! That's a lot of dogs! Well, they have four paws each. That is 48 paws, if I do my math correctly. That's close to 50. That's a lot of paws. That's a lot of paws to take care of. You know what I do with all those paws? I make a promise that I will watch them. My paw to their paw. All 48 paws. Almost But 50 I'm paws. nervous leaving my dogs. What? My dogs, I never go on vacation. You must go on vacation for your sanity, man. But the dogs, what will I do with them? You must trust Pa to Pa promise to watch your dogs. Okay. You want to know how to find Pa to Pa promise? I scream really loudly. No, well, yes. Scream it. Scream it. Vacation. No. Scream um, Pa to Pa promise. Pa to Pa promise. You find it at pa to Pa promise. Don't go. Yes. Hello, 
Oh, gentlemen. Do you guys like to play video games? I love them. I, I love games. Do you have a lot of money? I do. No, it doesn't look like you do. You look like a really poor guy. So tell me the truth. Do you have a lot of money? I do. Uh, sometimes I spend it on inhalers, though. You spend it on inhalers? <laughs> Well, do you have money to play video games? I do! Well, well would you like to have more money for Nailers if you could play video games for free? For free? Then you could relive your fantasies and play in the online world of the reincarnation on Map Mabinogi? Are there girls on there? Why, the main character looks like he might be a girl. Really? It uh, might be a girl. It might? Oh, wow. Um, that, that works for me. So if you go to Mabinogi.com? Can play for free on your computer. I want to live my fantasy with a guy girl. Well then, maybe you should hang out with Chris Bork. <laughs> what cages? Oh. <laughs> Mabinogi. 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 M A B I N O G I. This is a scruff, McGruff sound like. For those of you who do drugs, you need to know. That I don't want you to do drugs. I want you to give all your drugs to me so I can dispose of them responsibly. Drugs are bad. Drugs are bad. <laughs> That's right. Don't do drugs. This commercial has been brought to you by people who don't want you to do drugs. So give us your drugs. And we'll take care of it. Drugs are bad. Give them to us. Gruff, McGruff, sound like. Woof, woof. Bow, oh, wow. And bring me to Pawpaw Paw Promise. Dot com. Well, that was three more amazing commercials from the PPR people. The first one was a Paw to Paw Promise, followed by a Mavion commercial. Mavinogi. Mavinogi, something like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, tomato, yeah. tomato. Yeah, I, I decided to come back in. I kicked New Jersey guy out. He'll, he'll be back at some point. But back to here, Mike, it's good to be back. You did a good God. job hosting for that one minute. We Thanks. missed you. That's Thanks. Really... Yes, we, we, we really did. <laughs> but we were lost without your guidance. Well, that's that's what I'm here for to help you guys out. <laughs> so my savior. those commercials and the anti-drug commercial. Anti-drug. What about the anti-drug? And it, it's a good, it's a great message that you should give your drugs to to that person. Yes, or a Definitely. respected police officer. Yes, but just, then again, they probably just arrest you right then and there without asking many questions. Mostly. <laughs> so you better off just handing it to him and just running away or something. Wouldn't it have been ironic if uh, Scruff McGruff, the character, came from somebody getting completely baked? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wouldn't doubt that. That's the marketing <laughs> expert right there. Boom. Done and done. <laughs> so, yeah, those are pretty pretty funny commercials. Yeah, definitely. It seems the uh, portrayal of the computer geek is very uh, stereotypical there. And the, the, the singing uh, Paw to Paw Promise one, that was pretty funny. Pretty. It was very theatrical. Oh, yes. And Mavinogi, which is, looks like some anime game, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it definitely sounds like I've it. Never heard of just it. from the name. Well, it's free, so you could you could play that. Oh, so it's a role playing game or something? Probably. Yeah. Oh, Neat. okay. Probably okay. just one of those uh, website based ones. I don't know. More commercials. Here we go. Boom. <laughs> and on the sixth day. Let the Be Free Daily Bible Podcast! Saul reads the Bible.com. So subscribe, hear the Bible in a year, <laughs> reading and devotional in 20 minutes a day when you need to get your God on. What do you think, John? Oh man, I am so 
cause to pay right now. Uh, for how long? Oh, uh, like three days, dude. Oh, <laughs> uh, that sounds pretty interesting. Uh, no, I'm not constipated at all. Really? Why? Well, I used to be constipated, and I used to make noises like, <laughs> but now I don't do that. <laughs> Because, uh, I have Kellogg's Fiber Plus Bars. Fiber Plus Bars? What do those do? They're, they, tr they give you better nutrition. And they're as, as delicious as they are good for you. Really? Will it help me pass this thing in me? Not only will it pass that thing through you, but it'll be good for your heart. Oh, thank God, because I'm about to have a brown baby boy. But after you have your brown baby boy, you can get your heart on. Well, with that one, um, well, the one previous, it was it was great to hear Sarah Jessica Parker making her appearance. Oh, wait, wasn't that the horse from Babe? I, <laughs> I believe I, it was. How about that? Eric's not here, and we're getting Sarah Jessica Parker references. Boom. So, dynamite. <laughs> three more commercials, and uh, excellent choices there. So, we got Graboid, Saul's Bible Podcast, with the demonic backwards voice at the end. And a very awkward Fiber Plus commercial. Yes. I really hope that's not the way that Eric actually sounds when he gets constipated, because I don't think anyone would want to be there for that. Uh, yes, that's probably very accurate. <laughs> End of discussion, yes. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> but. I, always, uh, I always felt awkward whenever I was at Walmart or something, and I see people buying the Activia, Activia or the uh, Fiber Plus bars. So you, always make, you always know a little too much about that stranger. Yes, yes. Because of the nature of the products. You know, it's kind of sad when you know that about a person and you don't even know their name. Very much. It says, hello, random stranger. I hear you have trouble in the bathroom. <laughs> what? Well, I, I was going to talk about something, but I'll, I'll save that for, for now. Let's, let's get into some more commercials. <laughs> and on that note, breadsticks. In the 90s, there was Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat! In the early 2000s, there was Soul Calibur. Soul Calibur! And now, in the year 2010, we have Dungeon Fighter Online! Woo! Brought to you by Nexton. This new PC online game requires no quarters. You fight in the dungeon online! Yeah! Woo! Online Fighter! Dungeon Fighter! Yes. Have you recently lost a family member or a loved one to a tragic auto collision that didn't need to happen? Or have you been involved in one yourself? Well, guess what? We, the good folks at Autotrader.com, want to help you get the vehicle that's right for you to replace that old destroyed one. So come on down to autotrader.com so you don't end up like these schmucks. And, uh, you know what? We're good people at autotrader.com. I love dogs! I love you too! I love dogs! And I will never leave you ever and never will go on vacation ever and never will have fun and never will leave my house so I don't have to leave you. Liar. God of cages. 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 <laughs> That's right, everybody. Next time you're going on vacation, even though you you love your dog so much you couldn't leave them. Let Potter Pro Promise take care of everything. They'll walk your dog, play with dog, and make sure that your dog is happy. So that when you come home, they'll love you all over again. <laughs> Potter Pro Promise. Woof. All right, so those were another th uh, triplet of commercials. Andy, which ones did we hear right there? We heard an excellent one for Dungeon Fighter Online. A interesting one for Auto Trader. And a heartwarming <laughs> one for Paw to Paw Promise. The Auto, tra auto Trader one uh, got a lot of positive feedback. Really? It, it, it did. 
It made me feel <laughs> sad inside. Actually, speaking of feedback, a, a lot of people have been... It's really mixed. Some people love the commercials, and some hate them. They're very polarizing. Then again, those, those who hate them just don't have to listen to the, this whole... Uh, yeah, th special. those who hate the commercials probably aren't listening to this, so we could bash them however much we want. Yeah, we could. Screw you, Davi. No, I'm just kidding. You're a good guy, Davi. <laughs> <laughs> He's been on a few episodes. Oh, uh, right on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, send us some feedback for commercials. What do you like? What do you hate? Yeah. Listener yeah. mail. There you go. And do you no like, excuses now. Do you like hearing all new commercials in each episode, or maybe should we reuse some here and there? So if you have any that you'd love to hear again, just let us know. But maybe you'll hear it in this episode. All right, and here's a few more commercials, including a new one. I'd really enjoy having intercourse with a female in the not-too-distant future, but I've got a bit of a problem. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What, what kind of problem are we talking about? Well, it's more personal, and it has to do with a certain part of my anatomy. Um, do you mean your your hands? Oh, my hands are, are fine. They, they can caress and clutch and do all they need to do. Um, y your tongue? No, my, my tongue can slither and, and do as it needs. Um, your, your rectum? No, oh, my... What does rectum have to do with intercourse? Uh, I, I don't know. I guess it could be involved. I'm gonna assume this has to do with your, uh, your penis. Well, I do have the dysfunction in the erectile, um... Field. Oh man, so what, what have you tried to, to cure this? Uh, I've, I've tried pouring beer on it, I've tried hitting it, I've tried sticking it in an electrical thing, nothing's working. Wow, that, that's pretty amazing. Well, well, I can prescribe you on some drugs. Your drugs? Yes, drugs. I don't do drugs. Well, drugs are bad. Well, that's th what they told me. Well, this is a, a different kind of drug. This, this drug makes your, your penis incredibly large. Incredibly large? Very like yours? Exactly. No, like Anthony Matramalo's. Oh my god. Yeah, it's, it's pretty it's pretty freaking big is, is what I'm trying to tell you. Well, is there, is, there a way to, is there a smaller version of this drug that doesn't make it too big? Yes, it's called Tylenol. Oh. And if in the middle, they have Viagra. Viagra? Yes, Viagra. All you do is you take these pills and it makes your Johnson almost as big as Anthony's. Anthony, is this true? I don't know. I've never heard of it. <laughs> wow. And uh, there's only a, there's a few problems though here, okay? Um, if, you, if you have it for more than four hours, you gotta come see me. What are you gonna do? Uh, we're gonna have to drain that, that, that thing. Well, hopefully it'll be drained before it, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Take these pills and have a ball. What's the name of the lucky lady? Um, yeah, lady. <laughs> <laughs> So, you're just getting into a relationship. Congratulations. But you know what? You're worried because you don't know, you don't have a crystal ball, so you don't know how things are going to work out in uh, certain senses, if you know what I mean. So, since there's no crystal ball, what I can offer you is Olive Garden, which has great breadsticks. Come join me as we peep in on this couple who are enjoying their meal at Olive Garden. Hello, sir. Hello, ma'am. I uh, hope you're enjoying the atmosphere so far. Here are your breadsticks. Your meal is on its way. Is there anything I can do for you? These will be good. All right. Uh, just call me if you need anything. All right. Thank you. Wow. These breadsticks look amazing, honey. Why don't you have one? Oh, I thank you. Oh, these are so good. Oh, they look good. There you have it, folks. The breadsticks work. Men love watching women eat them, women love eating them, and even men love eating them. So, you can't lose, people. You can't lose. But, wait, you, you might be asking, this might help me for my short-term relationship, but I don't know what she's going to look like in the future. Well, a lot of people say you could look at the mother, but we, we go a step beyond that. Again, no crystal ball, but this calls 
for a family meal, folks, if you know where I'm going. Anyways, enjoy breadsticks at Olive Garden. We'll put a smile on your face. Oral! And Eve gave Adam the apple, and he said, I want to listen to Christian podcasts! Practical Bible-based preaching by evangelist Frank King. Making money off the Bible, Frank King. Good job. Stay classy. I am cages, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was a great breadstick commercial. That was dedicated to Eric right there. Oh, yes. I hope you enjoyed it. Well, that's the closest Eric's ever gonna get to something sexual for the rest of his life that doesn't involve a computer screen and a bottle of the Smirnoff. And Degrassi. And Degrassi. And Degrassi. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, New Jersey guy. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> I was in the bathroom because I had my Fiber Plus bar and it helped make everything very smooth. We're actually not in commercial right now. Just so you know. I know. I really used it. Oh, God. Wow. <laughs> okay. So, and on that note. Back to your and Mike. You, you, are you enjoying yourself on this not real episode. There, there's lots, lots of breaks in this episode. A lot more than normal. Oh yeah, I definitely am. It's a lot of fun, and uh, it's really funny hearing our old commercials. I haven't heard in quite some time now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. It's an interesting way to spend a Saturday afternoon. Oh yes. <laughs> so, all right. What, what do we got next? Wait, Wait. We didn't even talk about the commercials that time. We were just too focused on breadsticks and <laughs> constipation. I mean, it's really not that hard to. To have happy, you know, I mean, breadsticks, you just, you just get you going, you know? They are delicious. Right, so what do oh, you have yeah. to say about the commercials, Andy? So, we heard a Viagra commercial, which I find it hilarious that the number one sponsor of NASCAR is penis enlargement pills. <laughs> I feel like it's a very co uh, compensating, I don't even want to call it a sport. It, it seems it <laughs> seems like an appropriate uh, combination. Uh, a great teaming right there. Very much. I, I wonder I why... Viagra and NASCAR are so in bed with each other. I mean, it would make sense for golf, you know, just because it's typically an older um, fan base. But with NASCAR, I I don't even know. It's just more redneck and hillbilly. <laughs> I feel like if you have the attention span for going in circles for watching cars go in circles for six and a half hours, I feel like uh, penis enlargement must not really be on the mind that often. So <laughs> makes me wonder. <laughs> Why well, these men are thinking what, about what, penis well, so much? Well, if cars driving in circles is what stimulates them, uh, where, where's that put a woman? <laughs> but then again, there are quite a few hot women that go to NASCAR races. You'd be really surprised. Well, they're trying to trick the men. This is probably true, yeah. <laughs> no, we, we, we kid you, NASCAR fans. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Marketing expert over here. All right. Can, may we go into more commercials, or do you want to talk about... Oh. What about the E. Frank King? Where, Cage, where uh, he says, I'm Cage's goddammit? Yes. That, that was one of Cage's most spontaneous moments ever. I feel like that's the most sent, like most words in a sentence he's ever said on this show. <laughs> so, it also brings me to the question, where are we as a society where we have podcasts for God? Religion on a podcast. I feel like that's just not right. <laughs> I feel like a religion should be in a church with some old guy talking about how everyone's going to hell regardless. <laughs> uh, well put. I, I think it should stay there too. And never leave. <laughs> Breadsticks. Breadsticks. Bread, those can go anywhere. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I can. I wonder if those are allowed in church. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ooh, communi yes. communion wafers are just flat bread breadsticks. But they taste, no like, they taste terribly, though. Yeah. Just snack time in the middle of church. They're not as aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way of putting it. <laughs> yes. All right, more commercials, if you don't mind. Can we? Go for it. All right, here we go. Awesome. Hey, hey John. 
What is it, Stuart? <laughs> just guess what? I don't want to guess. Just tell me. <laughs> Last night, I, I was watching Return of the Jedi, and yeah. and, and and I saw Princess Leia by, by Jabba's palace, and, and I, I felt something. Did you start tapping? Uh, it was amazing. There was like a, a thump in my pants. A thump? It was... <laughs> I don't know it's what... like a... Oh, it was, it was, it was, <laughs> yeah, it, it was, it was, it was awesome, and, and, it was, it was so cool, it, it was better than when we played World of Warcraft, and, no and, it wasn't, and, and my, I made my level 13 Padawan mistress, and, and, and I made her wear a bikini, you know what's cool is talking about these geeky topics so much. Oh my god, I I love it. it but how well, how can we discuss these geeky topics when we're not talking in person? Cause I'm I don't like talking well, to people in person. It well, sucks. Well, first you 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 go to the AV room because they have a a really cool computer. I love computers. Yeah, you go there and then you you go on www.geekquorum.com. I love geeks! I like gauges! I eat awesome! And then you take your inhaler and you go. <laughs> and I, I sounded like a, one of those. Like one of the, the Tuscan Raiders! Tuscan Raiders! <laughs> <laughs> like the shoot at the. the the things that go flying by. Oh my the god! Pod uh, 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 I did. I'm gonna be an iPod racer. Why? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ring, 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 oh, ring, man. ring. Oh man! I want to go see a movie phone. tonight, dude. What do you want to do? Oh man, yeah. I, I could go for a really good movie, like Human Centipede is playing. Like, oh, oh man, man, it's gonna that, be so oh. good. Like. Oh, we gotta make sure that we get a lot of good food before we see the movie. Oh, definitely, we gotta have everything we can oh, possibly uh, Speaking of food, dinner's ready, boys. Hey, Michael, what are you doing tonight with your buddy Eric? Well, I wanted to go see a movie. You wanted to go see a movie? Oh, you boys are so cute. Go, give me some smooches. Oh, boy. So, <laughs> what movie are you guys gonna see? Put the camera away, <laughs> Dad. <laughs> what movie are you boys see? <laughs> He was up here. <laughs> you young studs. <laughs> oh, what time's the picture showing? Uh, I don't know. Will you let us out of the basement, please? <laughs> oh, you gotta go to the theater. You Where's my clothes? Why don't you call Movie Phone or go to moviephone.com to figure out the movie times? Whenever he gets out of here. Movie Phone is an American based company listing and information service. Movie goers can obtain local showtimes, theater information, film reviews, or advanced tickets. Seriously, help! <laughs> a one, a two, a one, two. Let's go to moviephone.com, boys. Let's go to moviephone.com. If you don't go to moviephone.com, you won't know which movie time you're gonna be showing up for. So you'll just be sitting at the theater wanting more popcorn in your mouth. Here we go. Straight. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! Oh. Straight. We got NASCAR! NASCAR! You can drive really, really fast. And you can eat squirrels on a stick in the stand. NASCAR! Ladies and gentlemen, NASCAR! NASCAR! Who needs football or sports with balls? Who needs a puck? Who needs a bat? We got bearings and wheels. It's NASCAR for everybody. Look out! Pit stop! Absolutely. Big crash. Watch NASCAR! Left. Left. Hundreds of laps that all look the same! Left. Left. Caution! 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 In the 
Jersey, we really like NASCAR. Do you guys like NASCAR? Bacteria Mike loves the NASCAR, don't you? <laughs> Well, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm the biggest fan, but I'll go to the race if my dad gets tickets. Just you like Fifi him. boy! I was just kidding! We hate it in New Jersey! It is for fairies! It's for rednecks! It's for hippies! It's for... It's for... It's for weirdos! I don't like anybody! Um... I don't really like going, but... I mean, I'll, I'll go just because it's a fun environment and just crashes, but... I'm not a big fan of the overall picture of it, of just driving around in a circle. For six and a half hours. Oh, of course. I mean, if it was any, any less than six and a half hours, then why would you even go? You know, you spend more time on the road than you do there. And For those of you... Please love the sarcasm. Yes. So, Bacteria Mike and New Jersey guy don't exactly care for NASCAR, but their levels are a little different. I despise and, NASCAR. And uh, PPR does not endorse New Jersey guy. Hey, hey. And, or his views. What has 30 teeth? The audience at NASCAR. Ah! <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> Seriously, going, like, taking left turns for six hours, how is that entertaining? Wait, don't forget about going straight. They do that I for forgot a about that's too. why it's good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just kidding, it's horrible. How thrown off would the drivers be if, if they just had to go make right turns? Apparently they do have one race a year. I have a friend that likes NASCAR. He tells me they have one race where they actually go right around the track. So I'm sure there's probably like 16 more <laughs> crashes per. <laughs> and then you you get the people confusing. that defend NASCAR. They're like, oh, it's endurance. And it's like, yeah, you're sitting in a car for five hours. I used to do that when I was a kid. I, I don't know. This it's, it's difficult to judge. But if you're going to call NASCAR a sport, you got to say cheerleading is a sport because that requires more athletic ability. Then you have to say chess is a sport. Chess that, that requires endurance too. You're gonna it, sit down for hours. It is a competition. It's a competitive event. Yeah. NASCAR. Nice Breadsticks. Bleh. Hey man, do you have anything I can have to feel more enlightened, man? Oh, I do. You got some herb, man? No, I. You, you won't need herb when you get this. Is it like super skunk, man? Nah, you, you're not gonna need super skunk. What you got, man? You are gonna get high on life! What's life, man? Subscribe to... Is it like angel dust? Or like butt naked? Or fake cannabinoid? Man... No, I'm, I'm talking... Saul's Bible Podcast. What's that, man? Man, wait till you read this. There's people, like, dying and, like, cities that blow up because they were doing each other in certain areas, and, uh, it's, it's pretty incredible. You gotta read this. Yeah. Where do I find that you guy? Can, you can find it at Saul's Reads the Bible Podcast. <laughs> it's all tonight! <laughs> ah, man! I'm on level 33 of Warcraft right now! Uh, my life is awesome! That does sound like quite the awesome life, young man. I, it is! I'm 31 years old, and I live in my parents' basement, they pay for my inhalers, and I, I, I have a level 33 paladin in Warcraft, and she takes her top off. It's awesome. Wow, your parents must be very proud of you. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, I think? No? No. no. No, no, not really, no, no, but, but, you know, I'm very proud of my, my level 33 paladin. Wait, slow down, why, why aren't your parents proud of you? Well, they you say... You look like a nice young man. They, they say 31 is a little too old to be living at home, and, and, and you know, I, I don't want to be single my whole life like Eric, I kind of want to be married like John. Do they have any proposals for you on how to, how to change your life? Well, they, you know, they, they said to me, I, I probably should go to school. Do you have any interest in school? Well, maybe, but o only if it's the right one, you know, and, and it's convenient. 
Well, what, what, what would make something convenient for you? Well, I love playing Warcraft online! So you want to my paladin? <laughs> and, and if the school was online, uh, that would be awesome. Like, what, what a coincidence, young man. I am here to represent American Public University. It's affordable, quality degree programs in real estate. And guess what? Guess what? This this is the kicker. This part will make you really? it will make you but it'll it'll make you pop your mind. Is it a level 50 Charizard? Not only that, it's a hundred percent online. Oh yeah, wait, it, it's online real estate? Like I can buy mountains in Warcraft, you mean? Potentially. <laughs> oh, okay. Or you can do that at the same time as you're attending classes. Well, will girls want to be around me, unlike Eric? Because I kind of want to be like John. Well, if the girls are looking for a house, then maybe you could you could help them with a real estate degree. Wow. Yeah, yo, that sounds good. I'm going to enroll right now. Super. <laughs> This is how Cages sounds when he indulges on an O'Doul's. Cages! <laughs> <laughs> and he just fell off of his stool and broke his neck. Wow. And o O'Doul's isn't alcoholic, by the way, Cages. Oh well. <laughs> Alright, we'll try it one last time, Cages. Come on. I really like pancakes. Oh, really? Well, you know what you would like? Pancakes? Yes, and you would also like IHOP, because they are open 24 hours a day at the one in Salem. I hop a lot. I hop around, hop, hip hop, hop, hop. No, no, I'm talking about pancakes, man. I'm talking about the good stuff here. I'm talking pancakes and chocolate chips. I like pancakes while I hop. Sometimes I do it and I throw up. Well, you, you can do that. You can you can hop on down to IHOP, eat the pancakes. Wait, IHOP's a place? Yes, it is. What does that stand for? It stands for International House of Pancakes. Pancakes? Hell yeah. Pancakes? Hell yeah, we're going to go eat some right now. What's your favorite pancake? I like the double chocolate ones. It's a uh, chocolate batter with chocolate chips. It's Cage's favorite, everybody. That sounds really good for you. Next time you go to IHOP, don't even ask for what you want. Just say, I want the Cage's special, and they'll know what you want. I like pancakes. <laughs> and Cage's. <laughs> Cage's is better. Cage's cakes. Wow, those are some great commercials. Of Very course. Great. I can't believe we were so creative that we made those. <laughs> I am astonished. Except th that one wh where Cage's... Fell off his stool. The sound effect we put in there because it w the microphone didn't really pick him up, but he actually did fall backwards in his stool, uh, and that was pretty hilarious. Wish I was there for that one. <laughs> Kevin, how did you pull that one off? Oh, cages. Ah, uh, cages, cages, cages. So, what do you what do you guys think of the commercials? I think they're really funny. I'm I'm a fan, except for the uh, American University one, the uh, the Warcraft one. Whilst I, whilst I do believe that would be how a World of Warcraft fan, you know, discusses World of Warcraft, I still felt like it would, it went on for a while and made me want to hit a puppy or something. So, but, it, but it was your suggestion to put that on this, uh, on the special. Why did you want to hear it so much again? Well, I can fast forward it. I just wanted to talk about it to express my undying hatred of that commercial. But of course, we really know that you just want to punch another puppy. Well, if it has it coming to it, yeah, then yes. Actually, this is. No, I'm just kidding. That's he's actually horrible. a closeted World of Warcraft fan. No, I'd probably would get too addicted to that game. Oh yeah, I know people who play that game and they lost years on their lives. I don't. It's I don't get the appeal. I don't get the appeal. I knew a kid that spent at least twenty percent or twenty hours of his day on work Warcraft during during school, mind you. So yeah. for for those of you out there who want to call in and defend Warcraft or NASCAR, uh, please feel free. Podcast, podcast revolution at gmail.com. So uh, let's let's get into, I guess, one more round of commercials, and then that'll be that. Sounds good. Good morning, Ted. Morning, Joe. Oh, boy, I love working in this office. But actually, can I tell you a secret, Nancy? Come here. Yeah, you know what's really strange? What? Is, uh, I haven't um, 
I haven't defecated in weeks. Oh my god! And my heart feels really diseased. Oh my god, like, really? I, I, I know, I, I, I don't know what to remedy. I don't, I don't want to go to the doctor. Do you have any suggestions, Nancy? I know exactly what you need. What do I need? Kellogg's Fiber Plus Bars. Kellogg's Fiber Plus Bars? They help move stools, and it's good for your heart. You're, yeah, you're, you're totally, you're totally fibering me, aren't you? <laughs> you, you old yarn. <laughs> I take it every day, and it's better than prunes. You, you've just blown my mind. <laughs> oh, oh man, I'm crapping my pants. Kellogg's Fiber Plus. It's good for your heart and your butt. <laughs> yes. <laughs> One moment. Yo, one, one, my boys and nice. We gotta be watching the movies and we can't watch them because they're not on the telly. So we gotta go put on the Netflix and we're like, whoa, there's so many choices, man. And me and my gun, we go walk one and then we watch them and we put up the reviews and say, five stars, super movie, Netflix, five stars, do it. Esses cachorros estão pedindo pra eu falar em português assim, pato pa promise.com. Mas eles não param de me encher o saco, então vocês, you não, know, seus cachorros, vocês levam pra ela, ela vai tomar conta dos cachorros. <risos> That is how we speak in Jersey! <risos> What were you saying about the dogs? Eles voltaram. <risos> Can you say it again? <risos> Eles vão estar muito seguros com ela. Podpopromise.com. <risos> Thank you. Hello, gentlemen. Do you guys like video games? Yes, 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 I do. Video games are very fun, aren't they? Oh, well, of course. But you know what the bad thing about video games is? Mm, what would that be? They're pretty expensive. That they are. You know what's not good? When you spend $60 on a game, then realize that it's caca! No! Nobody wants to spend $60 on a caca game. Mm. No, no, no. But, 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 wait, 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 wait. Mm? Wait. Really? You could subscribe to... Gamefly, which is like Netflix, but for video games. Very interesting. It's very cheap. You can take out two games at a time and just play them and then return it when you're done with it. And then you get a new game. Yay! For this fixed monthly price. Ooh. So if you don't want to spend $60 on a crappy game, just get Gamefly. Gamefly. Gamefly is really fun. Hey, I need something to do tonight. Oh, wait a minute. I have Netflix. I can watch movies from Netflix, like Sex and the City. And it has my favorite actress in it, who happens to be a horse, Sarah Jessica Parker. That's right, you can watch it tonight on Netflix. You can view it on a Wii, an Xbox, coming soon to Android phones, and also just you can order them and they'll come to you in the mail for only $9.95 a month. Check it out. Netflix. <laughs> no, Sarah Jessica Parker. It's Netflix. Hey, I see you got a lot of bags packed there. Wow, are you going on a vacation? Yeah, I'm going on a trip to New Jersey. You're coming to New Jersey? This is New Jersey? Yes. Haven't you ever been here before? Why does it feel like Russia? New Jersey is not Russia. It's next to New York, and it's much better than New York. Really? Yes, but no dogs. Dogs? If you want to bring your dog, you must leave them home. Why? Because we do not allow pets in New Jersey. The only pets we can have, or the things we have chained, are squirrel, chipmunk, and woman. Okay. Yeah, so since you can't bring your pets with you to New Jersey, uh, you should go to Pot of Paw Promise. Dot com. They'll be able to watch your dogs, babysit your dogs, stay overnight, if you have fish, cats, you name it. Rather than have your animals be chained and eaten by that guy, you can have Paw to Paw Promise come watch your animals for the weekend. Sweet, I think I'll do it. Damn! Have you forgotten me? No? Guess what? You want to watch a video about American life? 
no better place on American website than VeedPresso.com. Yeah. Oh, I'm going on vacation with my family. Oh, God damn it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not cool. Shooting your dog? This is the 21st century. Go to potapawpromise.com. Don't kill your dog. Help your dog. You mean we cannot eat our dog? No, this isn't New Jersey. You can't eat your dogs. Go to potapawpromise.com. And we're back after an absurdly long commercial break, showing you a bounty of Netflix, Potapaw Promise, as well as many others. That was uh, pretty much what people should have expected coming into this episode. You expect any differently, then I'm not sorry. Right. And uh, so I think this has been a, a successful episode. We had some good laughs listening to some of these commercials. We had the new breadstick commercial, which I think is very funny. Oh, my phone's going off, but I'll get to that later. Uh, Andy, marketing expert, or so he says. What, what do you uh, sort of like what, what, what would you say your favorite commercial is overall? Can you pin, point it down to just one? You know, I don't think I'm going to be able to. I mean, you guys have all made some amazing commercials, with the exception of one. But, <laughs> gotta say, uh, those were... Uh, if any of these were real commercials, would any of them prompt you to buy any of the products? You know, I am an avid supporter of video games, so that Gamefly one, that one seems like. Okay, so it, it, show, it tells you about the product. Yeah, Auto Trader. Might not want to buy from them. Thanks to your commercial, it would uh kind of made me feel depressed well, talking no. about how losing family members and hey, at least you can replace your car. Well, that is a fan favorite. Can't, can't replace grandma, but you can replace the car. <laughs> you can replace Auto grandma. Com. <laughs> but no, that one's popular. The one with the dog being shot's popular. Contrary to pop, uh, to uh, previous statements, I'm not a big fan of abusing puppies. So the you know, shooting the dog one. <laughs> kind of horrible. Also kind of hilarious. <laughs> How about you back to here, Mike? Any any of that stand out to you? I thought that they were really fun. Uh, really funny to um, be a part of this. And uh, I was kind of like the um, the NASCAR one because we had so many tones of excitement and yet of boredom. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, 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 NASCAR! No, 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 NASCAR! NASCAR! Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so for those of you who didn't hear any of the commercials from past episodes that you really enjoyed, let us know and maybe we'll throw it in on another episode so you can hear it again. Share your comments. Or, or you could just go back and replay that episode that it's on. Whatever you prefer. But, yeah, and for those of you who liked this episode, let us know. For those of you who hated it, let us know. Give us all kinds of email at podcastpodcastrevolution at gmail.com. So... Uh, episode 25, for those of you who have been waiting for it, it is coming soon. There are potentially going to be some big changes, maybe not as big as we originally planned, but that, so, some, new, some new features on the show. So, we'll see how that goes. And if you believe that the addition of Awesome Andy has made this podcast six times more awesome, send listener mail. Ladies. Anywho. <laughs> Back to your Mike doesn't like having the spotlight of the uh, guest being taken away from him. That's right. Yeah, well, <laughs> don't you ever call me bad, Andy? <laughs> they will both be in my shadow at all times! Just all because leave. they suck! Just leave. Nobody they suck breadsticks! Now. Nobody loves New Jersey, guy. I'm going back to New Jersey and putting up a gate to keep out illegal immigrants like you Fifi boys! New Jersey guy smells like cheap cologne and hatred. <laughs> Cheap cologne is the best kind of cologne because it's not expensive and I can afford it. <laughs> yes. Anyways, <laughs> uh, looks like we're running out of time on this episode. So, is there anything like you'd like to say? Closing comments. Bad Andy. Thanks for having me on. It was a good time. Glad I got to come down. That's all you have to say? I like breadsticks. All right, I guess that's a good enough to go Ladies. on this Andy. All right, Bacteria Mike. It was fun. Um, uh, I don't think I'll be able to be here for the 25th episode, but hopefully soon afterwards. Excellent. Eric, 
Oh, wait. He's not here. Because he... Actually, I had to call Eric out right now on the show. Oh, snap. Eric, I hope you're listening. Because I called you several times this morning. Guess what? You didn't answer. Okay, sometimes people don't answer. Then you pocket dialed me. Then I called you back. You hit the ignore button right away. And that was about five hours ago, and you still haven't gotten back to me. How rude of you. And I left you a message, Eric. Shame. You need to learn your, your cell phone etiquette. Because it, it's very rude, Eric. We know you're there. You can just send a text saying, Oh, what's up? I left you a message, Eric. Get back to me. You know what? You know what, Eric? You're a good guy. But you're a dick at the same time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, maybe, maybe, I mean, it is Saturday. Maybe he's out on a date. <laughs> or there's a Degrassi marathon. <laughs> That's more likely. But, however, if he were on a date, he would have already told us about the breadsticks scenario. That's true. This is also true. The situation. Eric on a date. Come on! Come on! <laughs> Anyways, Eric, we kid you, but answer your goddamn phone. <laughs> breadsticks. Breadsticks indeed. And boom goes the dynamite. Just be done, yeah. Peace. <laughs>